I call upon the powers of the earth, of the moon, of the sun, and of the stars. When people hear the word witch, of course, they're going to think fire and brimstone. And a lot of times we are put out in the light or, you know, kind of crucified for it because of our beliefs. Before Christianity, people worked with the earth, work with the harvests and the springs. People from the beginning of time have been healing each other, have been taking care of each other in all the ways that may be what we call witchcraft today. For those of us who seek that path, there's an underlying feeling that you have inside that kind of catapults you towards that journey in your spirituality, such as being Wiccan. For those who have gone before them, we raise our candle in honor of their lives. My name is Colette, and I'm a witch. For the longest time, I was in the broom closet, and that is a term that I have used. <laughs> But recently in the last year, something happened where I mistakenly totally came out. So at this point, I feel a huge amount of freedom to actually be who I am in every area of my life. Growing up, I was a Christian. I fell out of that faith due to it not having enough answers for me. I never had a negative experience in church. For me, it was very positive, very energy filling. So when it comes to my faith, I don't necessarily believe in gods and goddesses. I believe in energy. And those gods and goddesses represent that energy. So when it came to the Pentecostal church, we used a lot of that energy. We would sing and we would praise. And for me, it was that energy that I really encompassed and brought into this new path. And there it is, it's out in the universe. We'll start doing what you need. I will enter the circle and turn perfect love and perfect truth, some out of faith. I find a lot of comfort in Wicca because it sort of reminds you that you're part of the world through ritual, through, I guess, the declaration that something's sacred. And that's one of the reasons why I started the Coven of the Witches of Aradia. Thank you for your presence and your The Coven is very much circle, almost like a family. So we do a lot of things together, well. actually. We've had barbecues with our families. We gather once a year to something that we call like our coven camping or clan camping. It's a time for us to come together, kind of commune with each other, get our energies focused, and it's really a good trust thing, I think, as well, and really getting to know each other where we have all of our herbs broke down with their um, magical properties. As I'm well. not in the broom closet, per se. My mom and my sister know what I study. The rest of my family doesn't. No one at my job knows. I don't need that stigma at work or being put down at work because of, of what I do. It's hard to be true in that aspect. You get the, the bad term of, oh, well, you're a witch, so I stand over a cauldron with smoke coming out of it, and it's this and that, and no, I'm just a normal guy at work, and you know, when people ask me for advice, I give it, and I learn that, I do my job. We are just as wonderful people as Christians, but yet we still hide. And to me, um, it's just not right. We should all be able to coexist. Having the group and having other people grow and learn makes a huge impact. We might not be as big as like a church, but our voices are. Hail and farewell. I think that it's safe to say that we're both optimistic about the future of alternative spirituality. There are as many paths to the divine as there are souls. It doesn't matter if the divine is a god or if it's just a moment that you hold dear. You gotta seize hold of those. We're not based off the athames. We're not based off the cauldrons. We are based off the energy and the positivity we can do and change in this world. That is who and what we are. It's okay to be yourself because we have way too many stigmas on ourselves sometimes. We try too hard to be perfect. We try too hard to be someone who we are not to please everybody around us. We should really be true to ourselves, be our own person. We shine better that way. Merry meet and merry part until we merry meet again. For we are the witches of Arabia.